Who knows about this? Just me and Dr. Shaw. How in hell did Shaw find out about it? I told you, the two workers who drilled the hole came up gasping for air. What did you want me to do? Call Shaw. Tell him I want him on the plane with me to L.A., ready to leave in half an hour. Oh, well, what about the site? I want it closed down until Mr. Brockhurst decides what he wants to do with it. You ready? Just about. Get through it. Tony. I'll get it. You better not go down there. Just hand me that rope over there. Careful. You get dirty. Mom will kill you. parents. Take care of it. Dr. Shaw! Dr. Shaw! Where's Jeffrey? Dr. Shaw! What happened? Doc. Dr. Shaw! Is he all right? How bad? What? I'm Tell afraid. Him. Afraid there was nothing I could do. He didn't suffer when he fell down the hole. He broke his neck. <gasps> oh my God! Jeffrey! Yes. Where are you now, Mike? I'm in the room. I'll be right with you. Gotcha.
at all in my monitor. Can you please bring them up? No problem. Cause we know it's not the real thing, baby. <laughs> so what's the use in trying to pretend? We're just like sister and brother. Now we need each other. What's a little love between friends? We must have read each other's minds. In the nick of time Another lonely night Two old friends can't share Yeah Oh, but surely This can't do no wrong It feels so good here In your arms Even if this whole thing is wrong I don't care guys don't work for free, you know. I know, but this is your first club game. Kind of important. Thank you very much. That was great. Okay, I'm ready in here. Okay, down. Slow down, right there. Now drop it down. 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 That's it. <laughs> what chord was that supposed to be? A G7. But my hands are too small. There's got to be an exercise that I can do to make them bigger. They'll get bigger when you do. I know that, Mom, but I don't want to have to wait that long. If you want some apple juice, it's from the health food store. No, thanks. Hey, Mom, you still nervous? Oh, yeah, sure. When I was little, I used to sneak into concerts and hide. And then I'd sneak on stage and pretend I was a singer. Still feel a little like I'm not supposed to be here, and any second someone's gonna come up on stage and kick me out. Not if you sound like you did today. You can't even hit a G seventh. How would you know? Thanks a lot. <gasps> What's it like up there with all those people? You know the feeling that you get in the pit of your stomach just before you're about to get tickled. Yeah. You know that. You know, the fingers come slowly toward the dummy. Edging toward the stomach. You're not going to get me back. <laughs> You're not going to get me back because I'm going to get you so bad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 
Okay, you two. Oh, yes, ready to call it a day? <laughs> Definitely ready to call it a day. I still gotta finish those lyrics tonight, Gary. Meet you in front of five. Okay, five minutes. Let's go, kid. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I'll get it. All right. Hello? Talk to me, please. I'm so lonely. Daddy, where are you? What are you doing? Anything exciting? Well, I am now. I missed you this morning. I know. I missed you, too. Mommy let me sleep since I was playing hooky today. Hey, listen, um, why don't I get rid of Doug and you can be my partner? I get $100 a day plus expenses. I love you, and I want to talk longer, but if I don't put Mom on the phone now, I think she's going to pounce on the phone. OK. I'll see you tonight, baby. OK. Bye-bye. Love you. Hi. Pounce on the phone. Well, I haven't had anything interesting to pounce on lately. Oh, really? Well, then don't expect to get any sleep tonight. Well, why don't you just hurry home to me, then? Well, I'm on a job right now. Uh, believe me, I will get home as soon as I can. Yeah, I really wish that you'd just stick to designing that stuff instead of having to use it. You know that worries me. Brooke, it gives us a chance to use the laser transmitter. Look, I gotta go. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. I'll see you tonight. Bye, bye. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Mike. Who are those guys? I don't know. There's our guy. Who's guy in the gray suit? And the other guy. I thought this guy was supposed to be cheating on his wife. Maybe it's a stag party. Now, here come two more. Now, if these guys are going to have a stag party, they're not up for it. They look like they're going to a wake. Turn on the laser. Let's find out. You got it. I can't clear it. Damn it, I can't clear it. It's white noise. They must have a debugging device down there. Now, that's nonsense. If they were on us, they would pull that transmitter right off the window. The two guys going into the other room look like security. They're probably making sure none of them take what's going on. If these guys are that paranoid. We might be on to something very interesting here. Yeah, but all we're getting is static. But that happened 20 years ago, even before Landry was built. Who could have foreseen that we would have this? Gentlemen, day? I would like to know the extent of the problem in Landry. Beyond the death of this one boy. The problem is, is that every one of the 5,000 people living in Landry could be dead within a matter of months. Hold this frequency from you right here, very still. I think if I can get in sync with the static rhythm, I can drop it out. That we've got to evacuate all those people out of there. John, where do we stand legally? Well, the minute you reveal the situation in Landry, by evacuation or any other means, you're going to have lawsuits that range into the billions of dollars. There is a way to avoid it. You all know Arnold Overstrat, and you know the work he's done for us in the past. I've discussed our problem with him, and he's worked out something that could be a solution. We've got to get those people out of there. We will, but it can be done under circumstances that won't incriminate us. How, Mr. Overstrat? Look, if there's any more medical cover-up by me, I, I, I think I should leave. You don't think, Doctor. You do whatever we need you to do, or the AMA Board of Inquiry will receive more than a few anonymous letters. You got any idea who those guys are in there? As of some corporation. They laundered money through our contacts a couple of times. What do you have in mind, Mr. Overstratton? It was probably just another of our conspiracy behind every closed door illusions, if you want to know the truth. And I guarantee it would look like an accident. Illusion? Guarantee it would look like an accident? The entire population. There may be casualties, but. Get it back. I'm trying, huh? What do you think I'm trying to do? 
And the fee is half a million dollars in cash. You had it. Why did you play with it? They're playing with it. The jammer that they're using is on a rotating frequency. Maybe they're writing a movie. You think they're writing a movie down there? No. Wait till we get home and drop out some of this noise electronically. What are they doing now? I don't know. The big guy is showing something to one of them. And uh, now he's taking a bottle of wine and leaving with his buddy. Look, why don't we just pack it in, go home and hear what we've got? Now, wait a minute, okay? Just wait, wait a few minutes, all right? waiting for the other two guys to come back. What was that? It's a car hauling tail up this way. Uh, Mike, what kind of wine did you say that guy took out of the room? What do you mean? Uh oh, it was red. Turn off the laser. Let's go. in my seatbelt. What are you going to do?
Let's get out of here and find out what the hell's on this tape. You're neither here nor there, but somehow you're everywhere. Or is that the wind reminding me of how you touched my hair? We used to laugh at time, but wasn't that yesterday? Hey, didn't we touch and didn't we feel and didn't the music play? It's the last song I'm ever gonna hear. It's the last song that makes me feel your near. You were the last dream that chance of coming true the music of my life began with you how'd you like it not bad not bad that's all you have to say after i've slaved over these lyrics well for a senior citizen i mean Senior citizen, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Daddy! Whoa! Stay away from the wicked witch! Oh, squeeze me so tight, you're breaking my neck. Hi, Dad. Hi, bro. Mike, I'm going downstairs to start on this right now. You're not gonna work tonight, are you? Yeah, just for a little while. I promise. What's going on? I'll talk to you about it later, okay? All right, I'll fix you guys a sandwich after I put Abby to bed. Oh, Mom, I don't want to go to bed. Abigail. Let me kiss you goodnight, okay? Yep. Love you. Love you too. I won't be long. Okay, baby. It's registered to Michael Newman. Looks at I don't care where the hell it is, go there. Find out why they were listening, what they heard, and what has to be done to keep them quiet. These guys were pros. That means a tape or a log or something. Just do what has to be done. Destroy the tape if there is one. I don't want to know anything about it. The original tape had a lot of white noise on it, so I ran through the equalizer and the noise suppressor three times. I ran from the original cassette through the reel-to-reel, -to, -reel, to the slave cassette, and back to the reel-to-reel. -reel. Now, it's a little bit better. Here, you can listen for yourself. 1045C, on Friday, February 29th. Your company's not only out of So some guy is getting a half a million to do something to an entire population where there might be casualties. And they're going to make it look like an accident. 1045, February 29th. What? Where? I don't think it's 1045. The guy says 1045T. Time. Why T for time? 1045 is 1045. Okay, look, look, let's go back to uh, the part just before the feet, and we'll see if we can find out where whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Right here. T on Friday, February 29th. Your company's not only out of the woods.
This next section clears at 85. I'm going upstairs for cola. You want anything? Okay. Friday, February 29th. Hi! We got problems. What's wrong? Those guys that were chasing us in the Firebird, they're parked in front of the house. Where's your gun? Gun. The one I gave you last year. Well, I never got any bullets. Oh, never mind that. Find a gun. Looks like a cigarette lighter. They all know it's a gun, and that's all that counts. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I want to hide this. We may need an ace in the hole. Don't make a move. Hold. Give me the gun. This way. Anyone else upstairs? No. Why were you bugging our meeting? Man, we don't know what you're talking about. Who hired you? Oh, really? We thought you guys were burglars. Where's the tape you made of the meeting? Hey, man, we don't know anything about any tape. Where's the tape you made of the meeting? Okay, I'll tell you. It's in the basement. Operator, this is an emergency. There are some men in my house. Send the police and ambulance. 
Newman, 1327 Asheville Drive. Hurry, please. This is the unit the original was on. These are duplicates. We're not playing games. I want that team. I swear we were just around the board. Hold it! I'll search these rats. Abby, Abby, wake up, honey. Mommy? Please be quiet, honey. What's wrong? We gotta get out Daddy. Now, there's some men in the house and we have to hide. Now, come on. Bring the other tape. Shh. Just be quiet. Do what I tell you to do. Abby, we have to hide. No. Show me how you. We lost them, but we're cordoning off the area. You get some backup units. Where's Michael? I'm uh, Detective Cole, Mrs. Where's, Newman. Are you where's all right? Where's Michael? 
Where's my? Did you see who did this? My husband. My husband. Where is he? No, no, no. Is Michael down there? Where's Michael? Please take it easy. Where's Michael? Take it easy now. It's gonna be all right. By the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they, like you, will rise again. You say he stumbled into something interesting. What did he mean? I don't know. I think that they were just trying to figure it out. Mrs. Newman, does your husband have any underworld ties? I don't know what you mean. Were they involved in any illegal activities? No, they were inventors. They built electronic equipment. They were just hired by some detective agency. I don't know. What difference does it make anyway? I mean, if he was a criminal, what, you guys just quit? No, no. But you have to understand that your husband and his partner apparently chose a very dangerous way of life. Those two men you saw... I, I didn't really see him. I mean, I looked at him, but I, I, I couldn't see him. You must remember something. All I saw were Michael's eyes. He was so frightened. <sighs> and Doug's body on the floor, that's, that's all I could see. Yeah. Well, the fact is, those two men were professionals. They left no fingerprints here. The car was rented to a John Doe. And unless you can help us further, frankly, we're stuck. Mrs. Newman, those two men were looking for something in your house. Do you have any idea what it could have been? I don't know. Could have been drugs. No. Now, why are you... I don't understand what it is you're doing. Mrs. Newman, we need to... Are you trying to say he deserved to be killed? You're in the music business, isn't that right? Well, yes. Now, what difference does that make? We need a motive, Mrs. Newman. And I have no idea what that motive could possibly be, Mr. Cole. Could we speak to your daughter? I'm maybe uh, Absolutely I'm... not. I don't want her any more upset than she already is. Now, she's still sleeping, and she was when most of this happened. I think it's time for you gentlemen to leave.
I said nothing about killing those two men. You said do what we have to. I sent you to find a tape recording. Where is it? We destroyed two copies. We couldn't find the original. We couldn't find any of the other cops. I wouldn't sweat it. It's a clean operation. No witnesses, no... What are you talking about? There was a witness. You know there was a witness. Then you find the witness. Maybe she's sitting on it. I want my cash and I'm gone from here. Shall I call over Stratton and tell him to call off February 29th? I'll worry about the tape and the witness. You contact Overstratton and tell him to proceed with the operation at Landry without fail. Gentlemen, you want your money. I suggest you do whatever Mr. Pentoff has in mind to finish the job at hand. Do I make myself clear? No. No, we can't. Well, because I have to take Abby out of school again. Mother. Mother, just don't worry, okay? Listen, someone's at the door. I love you. I'll, t I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? And don't worry. All right. Mrs. Newman? Mrs. Newman? I'm Father Ryan. I was at your husband's funeral. May I come in for just a moment? Oh, yeah, sure. Come on in. Thank you. What can I do for you now that I'm here? Are you going to be all right, Mrs. Newman? I've... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't... Uh, I don't know where to start. Anywhere you want. I've always... put my life in the Lord's hands and allowed him to guide me. But this is something that, that I, I, I can't understand why he... Brooke, those who attribute everything to God's will are wrong. God cannot possibly pull all the strings every hour of every day. There is free will. There is evil. I know. But I can't understand why Michael... I mean, why, why it happened. Does it matter? Yes. Do the police know? No. Then maybe it was just an insane act, and there are no causes, and there are no reasons. No, no, no. He was... Uh... Michael was an electronics engineer, and he was working for some investigator that night. Something happened. What? I don't know. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It's just that maybe if you knew why your husband was killed, it, it might ease your mind a little. Oh, I wish I did. I know that, that it, it, it will eventually come out. And then when it does, I guess I'll know. You already know, don't you, Brooke? No. No. Where is it, Brooke? 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 Where is it? I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Where is what? Yes, you do. No, I... I, I, I don't. I Brooke, don't know. Michael gave it to you, and you are going to give it to me. Uh, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm really very tired, and I'd like to get some sleep, if you don't mind. Oh, no. Oh, God, no! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
scream. I'll scream. The more you scream, the more gas you inhale, the quicker you die. But don't worry, you won't feel a thing. You'll pass out first. Brooke, all I have to do is turn this valve. There. Oxygen. Pure, life-giving oxygen. Gas. Oxygen. Gas. It's amazing, isn't it? You can't see either of them. One of them kills and the other saves. It's your choice. Which will it be? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do the police have it? If you know the police don't have it, you must have it. Don't you ever want to see your daughter again? This is your last chance! Where is it? Later, you're gonna be dead in five seconds! Five, four, three, two... <laughs> Mr. Cole, you have been a detective for quite some time now, I assume. Hmm. Well, you must have some idea what he wanted. Well, I don't. How is that possible? This guy almost killed me. You listen to me, both of you. This, this guy was not here on a whim. I mean, he knew what he wanted. He knew what he was doing. Just think how cautious he was. Even though he intended to kill you, he never came out and said exactly what it was he wanted. So if you really didn't know already, he wouldn't reveal it to you on the slight chance that you might survive. And again, you got lucky. Oh, yeah. I got real lucky. There's got to be some kind of a logical explanation, Gary. Look, your husband was playing at being detective. He was not playing at being a detective. I told you that before. He was hired. What do you call what he was doing then? Spying, bugging a room, surveillance. Now, these things are for professionals, a licensed private investigator or the police. That's what we do. Now, a novice had no business doing what he was doing. If that type of an action was necessary, he should have just built his inventions and turned them over to an expert. If he had done that, just that little thing, he'd probably be standing right here alive today. Well, he's not. He's dead. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. But without any concrete evidence or any really helpful ideas from you people, just what do you suggest I do, Mrs. Newman? I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound harsh, but we've got a job to do, and we're generally pretty damn good at it. When we've got something to go on, we'll keep trying. Come on, let's go. Hey, Mr. Cole. Aren't you going to provide some kind of protection for this woman? I'll leave two officers here tonight. And I'll check and see how long I can assign them. But you have to understand now, I've got a problem. If we tried to provide protection for every victim of a violent crime, we wouldn't have any police officers to go on duty. Look, I know. It's lousy. It's also reality. Yeah, but what if he finds her again? You want my unofficial advice? I'd get her out of town. Take her where nobody knows where she is. And Aronson, I mean nobody. That's no credit cards, no checks, nothing that can be traced to wherever you are, even phone calls. Whatever it is these people consider important, it just can't stay that way forever. It'll pass. Miss Newman?
You all right? No. I miss him too, Mom. What do you want to do now? Abby, I just feel like screaming. I don't want you to. Dropped out of sight, not a trace. It's February the 25th, Ken. Everything we have, keeping everything we have, depends on nothing going wrong in the next four days. The odds are she doesn't know anything about the tape. I don't play the odds. I want guarantees. Have you heard from Overstratton? Everything's on schedule. That's why we must finalize the issue of this tape. The dominoes are falling, Ken. I want that woman to be among them when they do. I hope Overstratton knows what the hell he's doing. Some music? Sure, honey. Abby, the night that Daddy called us, did he say anything about where he was? I don't think so. What about the background? Could you hear anything in the background? Why didn't he say something? Why didn't he tell us something? Mommy, I can't sleep. Me neither, honey. <sighs> Wanna hear some music? Okay. Music always makes me go to sleep. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What? My music makes you go to sleep? No, not your music. Saf music. Oh.
What's that? Some recorder messed up? I don't know. Sounds like chipmunk. What is that? What's wrong? It's one of your daddy's tapes, honey. Uh, he and Doug used to record their tapes at a slow speed. Well, you know that. So that yeah. they could get a lot on each one. And so when you play it back normally, it... Uh... Oh, my God. Mommy, what? Abby, this, this tape could be what those men were looking for. Let's play it again. Honey, uh, give me the phone book. It's in the door of the Now, that's $300 for four hours, and we're only going to use this equipment for a couple at the most. All right, darling, but I'm going to be right outside. Jeffrey Pierce is, and how he died. But there could be a thousand Landry's. I know, but tomorrow we'll just go to the library and we'll find out where every town, thank you, named Landry is, and then we'll call information and find out if there's a Pierce family in any of them. What's today's date, honey? 27th. 27th, that only leaves two days. What? I don't know. Mommy, why don't you just take the tape to Detective Cole? I, I don't trust him. And besides, he's in L.A., and by the time I could convince him of anything, we'd be out of time. I've only got this small aid anyway. Yes, Landry. The last name is Pierce. No, I don't know. It could be P-E-E -E or P-I-E. First name may be Jeffrey, possibly on T Street. I know. What, what, what was that? Lloyd Pierce, okay. Is this Mrs. Pierce? Yes. Mrs. Pierce, did you know someone named Jeffrey Pierce? Who is this? My name is Susan Donahue, uh, and I'm trying to find out about someone named Jeffrey Pierce who died in Landry. Why? What do you want? Did you know him? He was my son. What do you want? Uh, um, Why are you calling me? Mrs. Pierce, could you tell me how Jeffrey died? Please, just leave me alone. Hello? Gary, hi, it's me. Brooke, where are you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, we're still at the Desert Lodge. Gary, I want you to do me a favor. I have to go to Texas for a day or so, Gary. Do you think that you could take Abby to my mother's house? But I want to go with you. I 
isn't fair. I agree. It isn't fair, but you're going to Grandma's anyway. Now, Gary is going to come on the plane to get you. I don't want you getting off until he gets on. I won't. Okay. Hey. Hey. Smile. I don't feel like it. Abby. Right. I don't want to go anywhere without you. It's just that I have to find out what's happening in Landry tomorrow and if it has anything to do with what happened to Daddy and Doug. Okay? It's just something I gotta do alone, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, we just missed her. We got the word she made a lot of long-distance phone calls from here, but nobody's giving us any numbers. We've already got them from the phone company. She called the Pierce house. Get to Landry and find out what she knows. Then find her. I'll be there in the morning to cover. Yeah, well, don't take too long. Mommy, and I'm afraid. Come here. Come here. Oh. Mmm, I love you so much. I don't want you to worry, and I don't want you to be afraid. Everything is going to be fine. Besides, you get wrinkles if you frown. Give me a kiss, come on. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'd like the fastest way to get to Landry, please. The fastest way? Well, we have a helicopter shuttle service here. How many in your party? Just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. Then I'd try veteran helicopter service. Just around the corner. That way. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, come in. Uh, close that door, would you? That exhaust worse than smoke. Sure. Happy. I'd like to fly to Landry, please. Round trip or one way? Well, I don't know how long it'll be. Cost the same. I beg your pardon? It costs the same. It's a round trip for me. Uh, 260 bucks. Uh, longer than an hour? Not I'll wait for you. I don't know how long I will be yet. It's uh, not sunny out. Do you fly as well as you judge the weather? <laughs> nope, as well as I judge people. Here's 100, 200, and 60 dollars. <laughs> the only people who pay cash these days are criminals and politicians. And people who don't like questions asked. I'd say you're either running out on your old man or you got a suitcase full of drugs. Those weren't questions. I think that I would prefer to take another service. Thank you. Do it yourself, lady. Of course, uh, I got the only helicopter service in Lubbock. All I'm asking, lady, is that you take those mirrors off. I trust eyes more than words or money. And I don't do anything for anybody I don't trust. Great eyes. It's an optical illusion, you know. Well, it looks beautiful from up here. 
It is beautiful. Yeah, that's what the dinosaurs thought about the tar pits. Want to talk about it? No. Mistake. Whenever people talk to me about how mad they are, I get twice as mad as them. No matter what the topic is. I got natural anger. And you'll say, hey, I'm only supposed to be mad here, and then you'll try to outdo me. Then I'll get madder, you'll get madder. Before you know it, we're both yelling and blowing off steam, and I'll feel a hell of a lot better. So will you. So, whatever it is, it's supposed to happen in Landry tomorrow, and some company is going to be out of the woods, whatever that means. And it'll cover up Jeffrey Pierce's death and something that happened in Landry 20 years ago. You feel better now? Have you sold the book rights of this story yet? Sir, look, I'm sorry, really. Sorry, uh, it's just that what you're saying is, I mean, it's, uh, woo! Boy, you got a lot of guts to be going to this place. I'd rather have a lot of answers. Well, I can give you at least one. The company they were probably talking about has got to be Brockhurst Industries. The whole town of Landry was built around the Brockhurst factory and it was built just about 20 years ago. What do you want, Mrs. Donahue? I just want to talk to you, that's all. I've come a long way, and it's very important. Why? Because, Mrs. Pierce, I had a death in my family, too. My husband and his partner were killed or murdered by two men, and I'm very sure that their deaths are somehow connected to your sons. Please. Please. And when we got there, they told us he was dead? He didn't suffer. They said the fall killed him instantly. Uh, after the accident, were you allowed to see your son? No. Excuse me. I'm on medication. I have to take a bit. Mrs. Pierce. Mrs. Pierce. I know you loved your son. That's why we have to find out the truth. Bobby, he was at the construction site with Jeffrey. The men there said that Jeffrey fell in a hole. But Bobby swore that he didn't, that he climbed down, that it was all right. Did you believe him? My husband doesn't. Wasn't there someone there that, that could verify what happened? <laughs> Dr. Jean. He said that it was the fall that did it. Well, how well do you know this doctor? Well, he's, he's been here since we moved here nine years ago. <sighs> Mrs. Pierce, there was a tape that my husband had made the night that he was killed. Now, I heard part of that tape. It dealt with Landry and your son's death and, uh, does 1045T mean anything to you at all? They were talking about something that's supposed to be happening in Landry tomorrow that has to do with Jeffrey's death 
and something that happened in Landry 20 years ago. Landry wasn't even here 20 years ago. Well, what was here? Farms. Just farms. Isn't there anybody, somebody I can talk to that lived here 20 years ago? It's Philip Hager. He's got a farm out in Route 9. He's lived here all his life. Eighty-three miles. Dr. Shaw was lying about that accident. Looks that way, don't it? Sid, why are you helping me? Revenge. Against whom? <laughs> the list is too long. She was here. She said she was going out to the Hager farm on Route 9. That's about 20 miles. But that was hours ago. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to have bothered you. Um, my sister's been troubled since her husband died. She gets upset and says things that don't make any sense. Well, I better get after her. Thanks again. Well, it's about time you showed up. I've been waiting for you all day. A dozen more cows have died over by the pond. That makes 40 head in two days. Come on, I'll show them to you. Oh, uh, excuse me. Wait, I, don't, wait. I, I don't think that you, uh, that we are who you think we are. Let me handle this. You ain't the vets from Lubbock? Uh, no, we're not. Well, then who the hell are you? This ain't no airport. We'd just like to ask you some questions. About what? Well, about a lot of things, but first of all, about your cattle. What's killing them? Ah, uh, damned if I know. Some kind of a sickness. Not like any I ever seen. I got. I don't know what good they're going to do you. Oh, thank you. Well, you said that they showed this area before Brockhurst and just came here, right? Yeah, but I already told you there weren't nothing here but farms. Valley, and this one there isn't, and they're both taken from exactly the same angle. Well, now, uh, this one was taken before uh, we sold the land to Philip Brockhurst. Now, this one was taken uh, six, seven years later after they filled it in to build on. Landry is built on a landfill. Whatever you want to call it. 
Oh, isn't that just another name for a garbage dump? They trucked the stuff in here for five years. Do you know what they dumped? Garbage. He buys land, gets a dumping permit, and then fills up the site. Then, in many cases, they sell the landfill to developers. The problem is, you see, that years ago, there were no laws or regulations to cover it. So in many cases, there's just no way of telling what was buried there, and a lot of that stuff would be illegal waste today. Well, what's that? Uh, chemicals, pesticides, the residue from plastics, papers, drugs, no one knows. Some companies are taking steps to correct things now, but if that's what Brockhurst hauled in here, then Landry is sitting on top of a time bomb that's probably getting ready to go off. What are you talking about? Whatever was buried in Landry isn't staying buried. I was a chopper pilot in Nam. The Army had us spray a defoliant on the jungle so the enemy couldn't hide from us. The only problem was, you see, it didn't just kill trees, it also got people. Three ounces of that stuff in the water supply will damn near wipe out a city. There used to be tons of that stuff buried in this country. The, there was so much 10-4-5-T that... 10-4-5-T, that's what was on the tape. Wait, 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 what do you say? Uh, just that 10-4-5-T, uh, they mentioned it on the tape. Uh, I just didn't know what it meant. What? Well, just that 10-4-5-T on February 29th, the company would be out of the woods and it would cover up what happened 20 years ago. Didn't I tell you? Uh, Mr. Hager, have people around here been getting sick uh, with uh, lung diseases, birth defects, liver problems, that kind of thing? Been a lot of sickness here of late. A couple of babies born bad just last month. Lousy bastards. Who? Brockhurst and his friends. What? Suppose they buried poisonous chemicals in Landry 20 years ago. Now they've discovered that those poisons are surfacing and they've got to cover it up so that they're not liable. With 10 4 5 t It's got to be. The only question is how. Uh, why, why couldn't they spray it like you did in Vietnam? They can't just fly over the city and spray it. Well, they could make it look like an accident. Whatever it is, it has to look like Brockhurst was not involved. Wait a minute. What? Uh, Mr. Hager, where is your phone? Right over there. Thank you. Well, Sid, what are you, what are you doing? Just a minute. What? Uh, yes, ma'am. In uh, Bradbury, the number of the Lummet Chemical Company, please. Thank you. This is the closest place that would still have 10 4 5 T. Come on, come on. Damn, the switchboard's closed. I got a recording. That's strange. What? There was a car coming up. I thought it was a vet, but he's turned his lights off halfway up the road. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Good luck.
This Landry thing has reminded me more and more of this town back east. In the late 40s and early 50s, a chemical company jumped there and then sold the land for a dollar and a contract saying they weren't responsible. Now the place is a death trap. Lung disease, miscarriages, cancer, you name it. But they got one break. What's that? Well, they found out about it, and now they're trying to correct it. Landry may not be so lucky. the last of it out. When did you ship it out? Well, by truck about a half an hour ago. What's this all about? Highway 14? Yeah. Damn, right by Landry. Hey, you got to stop it. Lady, I can't do that. Look, call the highway patrol. This is no joke. Tell them to stop that truck before it gets to Landry. Hey, hey, what's going on? We'll set down in Landry and start getting everyone out. The plan must be to wreck the truck. That would spread the 1045 key over miles of country, including Landry. That would kill everybody. Well, some near the highway might die, but then the rest could get out. Then it would just be a matter of how badly they were contaminated.
I'm not about to stop this group for any terrorists or whatever they are. Seems like I've been here before!
Okay. Sorry. I gotta let those guys know we're not maniacs. Okay. Yeah.